What is up, Bills fans, Bills Mafia, the Buffalo Bills Nation? I'm Thomas. This is the Buffalo Fanatics. You guys already know what it is. Today I'm back with a brand new video. Five reasons why the future is very, very bright in Buffalo. Let's get right into it. So reason number one, the house is clean. We don't have Danny Crossman, Terry Rabisky, David Culley, and Juan Castillo any longer. They're all gone. Juan Castillo has been driving me nuts for a while now, especially when he decided to say, hey, you know what, let's play Vlad Dukas over John Miller. That was the first straw. And the last straw was this year with the, how the offensive line played. We couldn't run block, we couldn't barely pass block. Josh Allen was getting sacked every game a lot. Couldn't ever run the ball. It was just bad. It was just bad for the O-line and we all know that as fans and he is out of here. Now next up we got Danny Crossman that's gone. Very happy to see him go. He just wasn't able to get the group of guys on special teams to really play good at all. And it cost us a couple games. And, you know, it was just not very fun to see the special teams play this year. Terry Rubisky, not much really else to say other than uh, he's pretty miserable as a person and not the kind of guy that you want for... Uh, for your young wide receiving core who has been knocked down and knocked down and knocked down for years in Buffalo. Uh, no positive mindset, so see ya. David Culley, <laughs> he's a wide receivers coach and he was coaching the quarterbacks. I mean, it. glad he's gone. It's just mind-bogglingly stupid, but he's gone and that's exciting. Reason number two, our young wide receivers are starting to establish a relationship and the confidence with their quarterback, Josh Allen. Uh, Zay Jones, Robert Foster, Isaiah McKenzie, these are the pretty much the biggest names that we had last season uh, for wide receivers in Buffalo. Now, I really want to touch on these three guys. Zay Jones, his rookie season was really, really, really bad. This past season, he improved a lot. There was games where he was just on fire, unstoppable, especially what comes to my mind is that Miami, that first Miami game, he was just lighting it up. And then there's other games where he's non-existent and he's got to find the consistency. But the fact that he had a better year, um, you know, playing with Josh Allen instead of like Tyrod Taylor, uh, you know, he is able to really show what he has, you know, the potential and the uh, ability to be the best that he can be. He can finally show that with a good quarterback. Robert Foster was a surprise, I'm sure, to many of you. I have to take credit for myself here and say I wasn't really surprised. Before week one, I really said, you know what, I really think Robert Foster can make this team. And I saw the connection that he was establishing with Josh Allen, and I was very excited to say, you know, this kid could really well be an undrafted you know, free agent that really helps us out on offense, especially at the wide receiver position. I was very excited to see him play and he exceeded a lot of our expectations. And that was huge, especially in the second half of the year. He was a very big uh, part of why we got to six and 10. I know it doesn't sound good the record wise, but still the way he, uh, we were able to win games, the Lions game, if he doesn't exist, we don't win that game. If he's not on the Bills, we don't win that game. And he had a great year, I think as well. I mean, he is gonna just progress and progress and progress. And he's a guy who's a worker. He is a worker. He is all about work, putting in that work. And that's what you need at the wide receiver position going forward. Now, Isaiah McKenzie's the last guy that I want to touch on just a little bit. You know, he, uh, he's he got a good chance of making this roster, I think, next year. Um, but I think depending on who we bring in, I think I could really see him at about the fourth or fifth string position. He's going to be mostly playing kick returner and special teams, um, which is fine. But uh, I really was encouraged to see that Allen was targeting him and being able to establish that wide receiver quarterback connection, even with guys who he barely even knows. Now, to me, that shows volumes of Allen and also Isaiah McKenzie being able to slip right in and, uh, and make the play. So the good news is we got depth uh, depending on who we bring in. The third reason is our cap space for this next year and draft picks. We have around $80 million to spend per spot track and we have a lot of needs, a lot of holes we need to fill 
and this is going to be very crucial this offseason. We all know how big this is. They finally have the money. They've got the quarterback. They've got the defense. And it's going to be very interesting to see how they build the team in free agency and the draft. Now, we also have 10 draft picks in this year's draft. Are we going to draft 10 players? Very unlikely that we do spend every draft pick on, on one of those players. But what those multiple draft picks do is it allows you to move up and down the draft, especially in those later rounds, you'll be able to move up 10 spots, 15 spots to get that late round gem that they see fit for their team. You know, Brandon Bean, Sean McDermott, that they see, hey, that guy, I want that guy, let's go up and get him. And if that doesn't get you excited, just know that the Bills also have a projected $127 million to spend next off season and the draft and next year. The fourth reason, our defense is so incredibly awesome. We literally had the second best defense according to yards, which is the main factor that determines who has the best defense technically. We had the second best in yards. We were also the first best in passing defense and the 16th best in rushing defense. Now. As we all know, there was a couple games, especially the Jaguars game, and what, and I think it was the Patriots game we played in Foxborough with Josh Allen. They were running down our throats. We could stop the pass, we just couldn't stop the run, and that led to our demise. In that Jacksonville game, we got it together, but still, being up 14 nothing and then letting them just run on you and, and tie the score, not good. You need to address the run defense. Also, with Kyle Williams retiring, you know, that guy, I know some of you guys hated my, uh, the January KB picture. It's okay. I hated it too, <laughs> to be honest. But anyways, Kyle Williams retired and that leaves a huge void for us, you know, at that defensive tackle position on the D line, you know, and just an overall awesome leader, awesome player. You know, it sucks to, to not have him anymore and they need to figure something out there so that they can get that run defense uh, better for the next season. Another thing to think about with the defense is every starter from last year is coming back except Kyle Williams. So we should realistically be a top five defense next season if nobody goes down in injuries or we don't get the injury bug, whatever, you know, or whatever happens, you know? I really think that they have a good chance of really staying elite, staying as an elite unit, and they just gotta figure out that run defense, getting another defensive tackle to fill that void of Kyle Williams, and they'll be set. My fifth and final point of why Buffalo is on the rise is yours truly, everybody's favorite player in Buffalo right now, Josh Allen. Josh Allen had a really, really promising rookie season. And you know, and I know that he is going to just continue to improve. He's gonna continue to impress. I'm really excited to see what he does in his sophomore season. Uh, and it's going to be really, really fun, especially to see, you know, that paired with the defense and the cap space and the draft picks that all coming together. If we can get those three phases right, Josh Allen staying healthy and, and continuing to be good, keep coaching him, the draft picks to pan out and the cap space, spending it on free agency, getting the right free agents to Buffalo. If you can hit every single one right, you are going to be in the playoffs in 2019 and so that is so in incredibly crucial to get all three things right because we need to get back to the playoffs. Josh Allen needs experience winning games and showcasing really what he can do around a talented squad. He hasn't really ever been around a really, really talented squad. We need to change that this offseason. Although Josh Allen went 5-6 and six as a starter, and he only had about 2,074 passing yards with 10 touchdowns and 12 interceptions, he still looked very solid, especially using his legs. I think a lot of Bills fans and a lot of people in general didn't think he was that big of a dual threat. He is. He made defenses miss, look stupid, look silly, whatever you want to say. He was phenomenal running the ball. And the thing is, what also is really interesting is he had adversity this season with the injury, came back stronger than ever, and finished strong. Although it was 3-3 three and three in the last six games, the Jets game, the special teams was horrible. Horrible. And the Dolphins game, if that ball that he throws to Charles Clay is just a foot, maybe two, longer, further, and Charles Clay makes that catch, then you know what he is? He's five and one in the last six games of the year. So honestly, realistically, 
We got our quarterback. Everything is going to be okay. And it is very exciting. With that being said, I'm going to get out of here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, leave a like down below. Comment your opinions. You know I love to read every single comment and see what you guys uh, think about what I'm talking about. Uh, if you haven't done it already, please go down below and subscribe. Hit that bell to notify you every single time we post a video. I really appreciate it if you guys do all those things. Uh, everybody at Buffalo Fanatics, we love you guys so much. You guys are the reason we do this. And with that being said, I'm going to get out of here. But go Bills. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.